Welcome back to Crazy Gamers Games. We are continuing our series of building the heroes of Blackstone Fortress. In this video, we will be doing the Minotaur Priest. I have already clipped the pieces from the sprue, and I have cleaned the base. So we will start with 21, which is his body piece, and we will check it. See if it needs to have any mold lines removed. And believe it or not, it looks pretty good. Little one right here. One right there on his gun belt. Or yep, that was a gun belt. And then on the bottom of his foot right here. Get that, because I don't know if that's going to be the part on the base or not. And then we need 23. The 23 looks good. A little bold line right here. Oh, I see a spot we got to do an extra clip on here. piece off right there. Hopefully that'll get in there. Yep. Let's hit that with the bowl ice scraper. That looks like it's going to slot to the back of our priest. We hope. Okay. That one goes in there. It looks like 25 this gun. Which looks like it has a bowl line right there. Little one right there where it could cut off. Other than that, it looks good. It looks like this sticks on the skull. Hopefully. Well, that's a tight fit. Okay, that's a tight fit on that one. That's why you don't want to put glue on ahead of time. That capillary glue is fantastic in situations like this. Now we need 22. Let's check this. we got a little bit of leftover sprue on the bottom here. I like to get that. Even though it's in the base, I like to get that cleaned up. Here, right up there. Oh, that's that. We will put this piece on, and you know, these have been going together pretty good. You know, I've heard nightmares about these push fit models. Now let's check his book here. A little bit of a line down here. Dropped it. As always, I have to drop something in every video. Because that just seems the way it goes. Small pieces and big hands. They're not a good combination. And then this appears to go on just like that okay so we're going to move this book out of the way and uh, we're going to get out our plastic magic on this one no actually we're going to get the quick set um, there's hardly, there's really no gaps here at all. So we're going to do a nice quick set of these. These joints right there, get the glue in there. A nice capillary action of being drawn into the crack. Put the book on. 
Let's glue around the book. Glue around the shoulder pad right there. And see where there's little micro cracks, this glue will expand the plastic slightly and then they will pretty much disappear. Oh, I want to put a little bit on this gun here so it doesn't want to come off again, even though it's hard to get on. It's a little added reinforcement. Put that away. We will stick him on the base I had prepared before, and we will slot him in this way. We want this way. Yes, we do. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. We'll put a little, get us a little plastic magic from the base. Looks like we got a little base overlap right here. Make sure that guy's in there. And remember, I'm putting that um, basic material on there that will cover up these nasty slots. I can't stand these slot bases. It just it makes the it, it, I don't mind the figure on one of the regular bases just painted black or something. But these slot bases, they stand out. Even if you paint them a solid color, they still just stand out. So I, I will put basic material on these to hide them. Just to make them a little bit better. Well, that will do it for this video. This is your Minotaurum Priest. It looks like the next model in... The Q is the Missionary Zealot. And I believe that's the one with the flavor. So that'll be fun. So, I hope you have a good day. And come back and join us for the next video in the series for Crazy Gamers Games. I'm the Crazy Gamer. Thank you.